Now, in the meantime, there are also concerns about the dust nuisance in the Three Miles area. Vendors who sell along the busy thoroughfare are worried about the possible health risks. The vendors pointed out that the contractors uh, try to contain the dust nuisance with a sprinkler system, but they complain that it's not done as often as it should be. Here, see half an hour, and you look on your beard, my black beard, I look like Santa Claus, it turned white. Yeah, and basically, yes. them can't wet the place more, man, you know, just wet the place like every, every 15 minutes, that's hard. If you look on the place now, beer, all I dig up, everywhere, dust everywhere, and when we have to inhale this and live in this. And yes, I'm my office, you know, so my office get messy right now. Since the building up of the traffic and the road highway, it really kind of, don't really satisfy me that much. A whole heap of dust where I can get. You understand? Get this amount. Concerns as well this evening about the lack of special needs access implemented in the road work plan. TVJ's Anthony Log has been looking at Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew and he now joins me live. Anthony, what have you been seeing? Well, Archie, as it turns out, motorists aren't the only one affected by the road work going on along the Constant Spring Road. It's extremely difficult for pedestrians, especially the disabled, and with little to no signage in the area, persons may very well be walking into danger. Danger lurks along Constant Spring Road and everyone is at risk everyone including the disabled. From no sidewalks, poor signage to traffic management. One could accept the absence of sidewalks as road expansion is still underway. But those using this road say it makes walking in the area a difficult task. Case in point, there's no bus stop, so a bus stops just about anywhere it can and the passengers sometimes have to dodge or run from oncoming vehicles. For the disabled, it's worse. This blind man encounters challenges, but thankfully, a lady comes to his rescue. Now to poor signage. All pedestrians using Constant Spring Road are forced to use this side of the street due to work being done on the opposite side. But with no proper signs erected, many aren't aware of the dangers lurking. Like this newly constructed drain without a cover. Those familiar with the area stay far away. Others miss slipping in the drain by centimeters. In a recent letter to the Gleaner News editor dated August 14, 2018, Marissa Forbes blasted the government for its failure to implement special need access into road work plans. Hanging wires are also an issue. The reason? Telecommunication companies doing work. But with the road narrowed, heavy-duty vehicles still pull wires, causing outages of both electricity and telecommunication services. Which then takes us to traffic management, or the lack thereof. Flagmen are used to direct the single-lane traffic, but poor communication on each end creates chaos. As if that's not already a task, motorists have to endure the dust nuisance while they wait. Workers are equipped with dust masks, so too this bus driver. Others use anything they get their hands on. It gets better throughout the day when the water truck sprinkles the area, but after several hours, more dust. So it's clear there are safety and health risks associated with this leg of the project, which is expected to help boost economic activity. But in the meantime, those who use the Constant Spring Road want better days before someone gets hurt. Anthony Log, TVJ News.